What's going on guys, AD here. We're back with more Motorsport Manager. This is season four, episode six of our F1 career. In the previous race in Tondela, we had a first place position for Valdez and a fourth place position for Thomas. So we did really well there in Tondela. And then in Milan, we had a third place position for Valdez and fourth for Thomas. Valdez was in first for a little while there at the end, but uh, the tire wear on his tires just kind of went down and he wasn't able to hold first uh, first position, so we lost that. But uh, overall, really great races, and that puts us pretty much in the lead here. And I think we've probably won, even if we both wreck, uh, both our drivers wreck. We're at 275 points, so we got a big gap on pretty much all the other teams. So we'll see how we do. We got one race left, the Black Sea, and then we're going to move into the Asia Pacific uh, Cup. So if you want to see more Motorsport Manager and more of this career mode don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes now if i was just playing by myself you know i'd take your guys advice and maybe stay in the european racing series one more season you know uh just make a, as much money as possible build some more buildings you know things like that but you know i like to keep things interesting i think that's one of the cool things about this game is that you know if you if you go in right when you make it to the asia pacific cup or whatever the next tier is you're, you know, you're back at the bottom again and you got to work your way up. And I think that's really interesting and that's a lot of fun. And if we were just to stay in one more season, you know, we just dominate the races and it wouldn't be very that, it wouldn't be that cool to watch. You know, we like this struggle and, you know, I think that's more fun, uh, at least for me anyway. So we're probably going to move up to the Asia uh, Pacific Cup and uh, see how we fare there. All right, so let's go into the mail. Let's see. I'm not going to do any interviews. Screw that. Get out of here. Valdez has hit podium. That's amazing. Thomas has a rival with uh, Kavan Leon. Interesting. Okay, well, we're probably going to get rid of Thomas at the end when we move up to the Asia Pacific anyway. We'll probably sign Valdez on again, though. He's actually really good. So we'll probably sign him on board for another two months or uh, two seasons. Now, here's the other thing that I was thinking. Uh, I don't know if we can do it, but... If we go over here to the chairman, I know we're at 90%, and, and you guys let me know that uh, Valdez has a, a trait right now. Um, he's got a trait that is preventing us from getting 100%. Uh, selfish. There we go. Yeah. Wow. He is selfish and spoiled. And this is actually... Oh, okay. So we can't actually get the chairman up to 100% at all. Wow. Okay, well, anyway... Uh, let's see if we can milk the chairman for money. I think we can, and honestly, we're probably going to be at an ultimatum right right away because we're going to be below 50%. But I think we're going to do well enough in the next race that it's not going to matter. So I'm going to accept the funds and take this money because we need as much money as possible here. Job security is uneasy. That's fine. As long as we do well in the next race, that's going to jump back up, so... We're going to take that money because I'm thinking what we need to do here before we move into the Asia Pacific um, or in the preseason at least is we need to upgrade our factory. I think we need to do that because we're going to get 10 more development staff and that's going to really help us out in upgrading our parts and, um, and getting the reliability up very fast. So I'm thinking about doing this. Uh, let's just wait and see what happens at the end of the race first. Let's see. We got a dilemma here uh, from Valdez. He doesn't like Wayne Bellows. How about giving him a, the heave-ho? <laughs> uh, not right now, man. We got to keep Wayne for now. We got some sponsorships opening up, so we might actually have enough money to build the uh, or to upgrade the factory. I'm going to wait until the beginning of the race to make sure we get enough sponsor offers. But the cool thing is we do have the tour factory built. Here it is, the tour center. So that's going to give us 80000 per race. Now, somebody said that it's going to take two seasons to recuperate that 80000 but I'm expecting us to be in the, what, Asia Pacific for four seasons, three or four seasons, and then the World Motorsport Championship for at least two or three. So, yeah, I mean, that makes sense to do it now, as long as you do it now. I mean, if we waited until we were in the World uh, Motorsport Championship, then it probably didn't make sense to do it, but... We're still in the European Racing Series, so this actually makes sense to build this now. 
All right, let's take a look at our sponsor offers. Slot one is available, and we've got a four star. Uh, let's see, four hundred fifty thousand up front, six hundred thousand per race. We have another offer that could be coming, though. I don't know. Maybe we should wait on that. Let's see. This is only three races, though. This isn't bad. Three races, seventh or above. Let me see. Slot three. You got a uh, two four stars. All right, let's see. Four races, first place, 1.7 bonus, no upfront payment. This one is five races at 1.5. So this one is actually more money um, than this one. But that's for first place. Um, it's only five races. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just take that. We'll take that offer, and then slot one, do we want to take this as well? Seventh or above. It's only for three races. Actually, we only have it for two afterwards. So... Yeah, why not? Let's take it. We need that money. We need that money right now. All right, and it's short. It's very short, so it's actually going to be down to two races after this one uh, for slot one. So yeah, I mean we got we got some really good sponsors over here. That Velocity one is amazing. All right, we've got to get into the Black Sea. Let's see, what are we going to do here? Do we want to try to go third or above again? Or should we try to go for first? Interesting. We hit first on Tondela. So we might be able to hit first. We could go third, though. That way we at least make some money. Hmm. Yeah, let's try to go third or above here. At least we'll be, pro uh, we'll be positive. All right, after practice, we've got Valdez in first with a 121. So he is literally... Uh, a little bit, like, 2.7 seconds faster than the third place. Something like that. So he's really fast. We're probably going to utilize the soft tires, even though the tire wear is uh, really high here on this track. I'm thinking we're going to go soft tires as much as we can. And we got a 30% bonus total here. 15% um, on the soft tires. So we're going to utilize that. And good setup here for both drivers, so we don't really have to change much there. Uh, 8 to 10 laps. We can only take 11 laps of fuel. Um, let's see, do we want to take, yeah, let's take 10 laps of fuel instead of 11. 10 laps of fuel for both drivers. And let's attack an overtake here. All right, we've got Gerard in first, El Sadat in second, Floridi in third, Kasparov in fourth, and Gomez in fifth. We're at the back of the grid, so we gotta move quick here. We are underway for the season finale of season four. Valdez going on the inside. Getting backed up into 20th here. He is a slow starter, I've noticed that. He starts out slow and then he just finds an opening and uh, just goes right through, so we'll see. He's gonna make a hole here at some point. There it is, into 19th. Look at that, all right, on the inside now. Into 18th, passing Chu. Oh, watch out for the accidents. Go easy, go easy. All right, Thomas moving into 13th now. Valdez right behind. Come on, keep this up. Oh yeah. There you go. Ooh, we had a lock up there with, uh, I think that was Krantz, maybe. All right, keep going, keep going. Ooh, oh, no. Ooh, Thomas crashed. Oh, no. Son of a gun. All right, Thomas is out of this race. All right, it's up to Valdez. 
All right, let's keep going. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's go neutral, but continue to overtake here, Valdez. Actually, no. High engine. High engine mode. All right, let's see. We are 5.6 seconds behind the leader. I don't know what happened to Thomas. I, I'll have to play that back and see. I think she ran into somebody. But she's been doing that recently. Thanks for letting me know there's a graphic update. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, come on, Valdez. Into 11th here. Into 10th. Nice. Just got to find an opening if we can. All right, let's push and overtake a little bit here. Battling uh, Tang, and he's made a move in front of Tang. Good job. Nice, into eighth. All right, just continue to overtake because our tires are going pretty fast here. And we get took a little bit too much fuel, I think. So we're going to have to take less fuel. Ooh, nice move. Valdez into fifth. He's got some good pace. Wow. We are catching up here. Only 2.6 seconds behind the leader. Let's see. We're probably going to have to go one more. We probably should. Just keep going. Tires are going to be a little worn, but that's all right. Let's go one more for Valdez. Keep overtaking. All right, let's attack, overtake. Let's go, Valdez. All right, we're going to pitch you in now. I'm going to pitch you in for softs. And let's see. We're not going to take 10 laps of fuel. We're going to take probably... We'll take one less lap. One less lap of fuel. So nine laps of fuel here. And let's go balance pit. Come on, Valdez. Into fourth. Let's see. Is Gerard pitting? Gerard is not pitting. Uh, oh, it looks like Dembele is. Okay. All right, let's get in there. Good balance pit. Nice. 11.9 second pit stop. That was pretty good. All right, let's go. We're out into 15th. Got to make up some time here. Let's just try and push it as hard as we can. We're going to have Shaw in the pit pretty soon. Oh, he's going to go one more. Okay. Gerard is now in the pit. Okay. Go neutral on the tires. Continue to overtake. Got to get out in front of him. Got to get out in front of this group right here. Nice. Nicely done. All right. Drop into high. High engine. And let's stay high engine for the rest of it. Let's make this fast. Car condition looks good. We're into 10th. Not bad. We got a lot of track grip, so it's possible we could probably go on the medium tires. But I'm thinking we just stay on the fast tires. And... Just try to make faster stints. We'll see how that works out for us. Let's see. We are 21 seconds behind the leader. Where is Shaw? Okay. Well, let's see. Are we catching up to him? Let's see. We had a 127. Shaw had a 128. So we are. Dimbele had a 126. Wow, Shaw is just going to run his tires into the ground. Unbelievable. All right, Valdez into third now. 
Looking good. Let's keep this up. Let's see. We are gaining on the leader. We're at 19 seconds. That's not too big of a gap. All right, Shaw is now pitting now. All right. Perfect. So let's just get out there in front of him. Here we come. We should be out in front. He is going to go on the... Let's see. Valdez in first now. Well done. All right, go neutral on the tires. And let's see. Where is Shaw at? Uh, oh, there he is. Okay, he's on the mediums again. So he's going to... He's going to utilize those. Let's see. How much of a gap do we have on Shaw? Uh, 18 seconds. Okay, let's keep an eye on that. Because if we're getting out in front with Valdez, we're going to just stay on the soft tires. Because we're setting a really good pace here. Look at this. Our next, our lap of time is 125. Look at that. 125 on the soft tires. Even though there's a lot of track grip. Unbelievable. Let's just keep that up. Shaw, yeah, we're getting a, we're getting away from Shaw for sure. All right, let's let's overtake and push the tires. We're gonna go one more here. Actually, just attack and overtake for the rest of the lap here. And we're gonna pit in for fresh tires. And let's see how many. There's 13 laps remaining. I'm thinking we just stay on the soft tires, honestly. Let's just stay on the softs. Let's go a faster stint. Let's go eight laps of fuel only. And we're going to push it a little bit harder. So we're going to pit twice, uh, two more times. But we're just faster on these soft tires. And we've got a decent lead. 21 second on Shaw. That's who we really have to worry about, I think. Yeah, because he's on the uh, he's got the most grip on his tires, or the most tire wear. So he's the one that's gonna we have to keep an eye on. All right, come on, Valdez, get in there quickly. Let's go. All right, keep an eye on Shaw. Where is he? He's coming. Okay, we're exiting. Are we gonna exit in time? I don't think so. Oh, really close. But we're out into out into ninth. Okay, not bad. We can work with that. Let's just make this quick, though. We're gonna just haul ass. And Shaw isn't too far ahead. He's right there, so we are right behind Shaw, honestly. And we just made a hole and went right by him. Look at that. Valdez is is not taking any shit. <laughs> he is just on the move here. He wants a win for the finale. Let's see if he can make it happen. All right, he's dropping the high engine, though. Try to make the stint last a little bit. We've got a really good pace. Let's see, we had a 128. Okay. Oh, yeah. Keep this up, Valdez. Nicely done. Into third. Nice move around Aaron Bari. All right, Shaw is 6.5 seconds behind us. And Shaw is going to have to pit again. So we're actually on good, in good shape because we're going to have to pit. And so is he. Nice move there in front of Floridi. And Batista is going to go. Oh, Batista's pitting now. Okay. All right, let's push it a little bit more. Nine laps remaining. Keep this up, Valdez. Holy shit. Got three purples here. Wow, well done. Let's see, that was a 124. Unbelievable. Valdez is just fast. He's really fast. All right, Shaw is pitting. So, yeah, we can just stay stay out a little bit, and we're going to have a big lead here on everyone. All 
All right, let's overtake for a little bit. Let's get some more distance. And actually, let's see, yeah, just go neutral here, go medium. Actually, push and medium. We're going to go one more and then pit in. Yeah, we should have enough fuel, hopefully. All right, let's pit in Valdez now for another pair of softs. And hell, we'll just go. Should we go six laps of fuel? Uh, we better go seven laps in case we need to overtake. Hold on, let me double check, make sure I did that right. Seven laps, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Alright, we're on, let's see, medium fuel. Do we have enough? I think we do. We just barely might have enough fuel to get in. Oh yeah, we got enough. Get in there. Alright, we got a 20 second gap. 27 second gap here. Literally have nothing to worry about. Okay. Out into first, baby. Batista right behind us. All right, go high engine and attack for a little bit. They're never going to catch us. Yep, not going to happen. All right, high and neutral. That's all we got to do here. Valdez is uh, really definitely wants to be on the podium, as you can tell. Thomas, unfortunately, crashed, but, I mean, Valdez made up for it getting first place. So, unfortunately, the chairman is not happy with this, so I don't know what we're going to place here. First and 20th, that's probably going to put us in, like, I don't know what position. All right, let's attack and overtake, see if we can get the fastest lap bonus. I think we might get, I think we might do it here. If we haven't gotten it already, we're definitely gonna get it. I think we did, did we? I don't know. How do we, t I think we had, we had to have had the fastest lap. Well, if not, we're going to do it on the final. There we go. Come on. Here it is. Valdez down the stretch into first place. Well done. Well, I hope the chairman doesn't fire us. He didn't give us an ultimatum, so we should be okay. That was amazing. Good job, Valdez. He really wanted that win. All right, so Valdez did get the fastest lap bonus, so we got 22 points there. Nice. And on the podium, another trophy for Valdez. All right, well done. We are in first, so we are going to move up to the Asia Pacific with 298 points. All right, so we came fifth overall, so the happiness is not going to be good. Happiness is going to go down. Oh, we got happiness changes 5%. Oh, okay. Well, we came fifth overall, so um, that's good. At least he's somewhat happy. Good stat changes for Valdez. And we got 476,000, so nice. And the world champion is... Uh, Darkside Racing, well done. And Valdez, of course, for being the number one driver of the season. Well done, man. Awesome. This is great. So, uh, Thomas ended up in sixth position with 122 points. Pretty well, pretty uh, pretty good for Thomas. And then uh, Valdez had 176 points and, and came out in the first. So, nice job overall. Prize money is 15 million three hundred. Uh, thousand, so that's good. We really need that money. All right, so chairman isn't very happy with us right now. 
Job security is uneasy, but we aren't. We don't have an ultimatum yet, which is good. And we milked the chairman for that extra money. So I'm going to go ahead and just build this HQ building. We're going to go ahead and upgrade the uh, the factory here. Because I think this is crucial. We need this. So let's go ahead and get this upgraded. That'll give us 10 part development staff. And we still go into next season one, with uh, 1 1.8 million. So that's pretty good. Alright, let's check the mail here. Interview, no. I'm the champion, Valdez, nice. Marketability's up, morale is up, everything's up. Chairman Happiness is up 10. See, we got contracts running down for Valdez and Thomas. Okay. So, actually, I'm gonna re- I'm gonna renew Valdez for sure. This guy's amazing, and 100% marketability. This dude is great. And he's a born leader, plus two to everything. And, oh, that, that applies when in first place in the race. Holy hell. So no wonder nobody can catch him because he's got plus two to everything. As soon as he gets first, he's, like, unstoppable. This dude's amazing. Let's go ahead and renew his contract. All right. Let's see. We're paying him 633000 per race. Wow. All right. So I'm, I'm wondering if we renew his contract before the Asia Pacific, do we, we can maybe get him for cheaper? I don't know. Uh, so we're probably going to have to go 613 here. We can go a little bit less. I don't know if we can go too less. Let's see. Status is important, so let's just give him number one driver. He'd prefer a short contract, but I'm thinking we can give him a... Let's go medium on the contract. I mean, we could go long... See, he's a, he's a four-star potential. He's actually not bad at all. So maybe we can go long. Long contract. And race bonus. Uh, it isn't important. So if he gets first, we can give him... Should we just give him 9,000? Let's see, his patience is... Hmm, we might have to give him more money, I'm thinking. I don't know. Well, let's see. Let's see if he takes it. I don't know if he will. But, you know, if he does, that's pretty good. We also have the contract running down for Valdez, so we're going to actually have to get scouting on some other drivers as well. Um... We do have some being scouted. Let's see. We've got a couple people here that we scouted. Um, let's see. Eliza. 60. Ooh. She's not bad at all. 63% marketability, though. I don't know if that's going to be good enough. That might just be good enough, but... This guy is not that good. He's got good marketability, though. I don't know. We're going to have to see. Um, we've got the best parts uh, fitted to our car, so we don't actually have to worry about that. Uh, some of you guys said you got to fit the parts before you end the season. Other, other people say you don't have to. I don't know who to believe, honestly. So might as well just fit the parts, which they're already fitted, so it doesn't really matter, I guess. All right, so let's see here. We've got a ton of mail. Let's see, a lot of retirements. And uh, prize money for 2019. Hell yeah, give me that money. 15.375,000. That's great. That puts us up to 17. That's amazing. And we already have uh, we already have the factory being upgraded, so that's awesome. So we can dump all of this money into our car. Okay, manager of the season. Don't care about... All right, we've got a promotion opportunity. Do we want to go up to the Asia Pacific Cup? Yes, let's do this. And we're going to get... Oh, promotion bonus, 10 million. Nice. We got 27 million in the bank. All right, so we're moving up to the Asia Pacific. 
Dark side racing have been promoted to the from the European Racing Series. Okay. Well, let's just take a look at our staff here. Um, we've got Danny Cox for 25 months. Valente for a while. I mean, she's not very good at all. We got to get... Let's see. Wayne is... Oh, we got to get somebody new because the engine... Let's see. We got him for 13 months, though. We're not going to be able to break all these contracts, unfortunately. Because it's a lot of money to break all these people. We could break Valente. But she's actually pretty good at performance, though. Part fixes. Danny is pretty good. So, honestly, we're going to have to wait another season. And get some better mechanics at the end of next season, maybe. At least a better designer. Um, look at that. Front wing and rear wing is very bad. But it's 447000 to break the contract. I don't think it's worth it, honestly. We do need to find another driver, though. But we'll have to get into that next time. Guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you guys want to see more Motorsport Manager and more of this career mode, don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got Singapore coming up in the beginning of Season 5. Thanks for watching. Take care.